Greetings to all and welcome to this uh, another exciting video on how to make your life simpler, better, faster and uh, interesting in uh, Oracle Apex. In this video, we will show you how to implement a set of step-by-step -step sequential processes in uh, Oracle Apex. Apex. In our case, we will use the database that we have always been using is the database of uh, courses, persons, and students. In this example, we are interested in this table. Why are we interested in it? Because in order for you to create a record from this table, you need a LID, lecturer ID, that comes from the table lectures. You also need a course ID that comes for the table course. So here there are three steps. The first step is to choose a lecturer ID from here. And the second step is to choose a course ID from here. And the final step now will be to create the record based on the chosen lecturer ID and course ID. Now, when we will do that, we will see that we need, in this case, two additional views. We need one view where we can select the lecturer ID. That view will show us the details of all the lecturers, including their LID, so that we can select which lecturer do we want, which one are we interested in, and collect his, his or her lecturer ID. We will also have another view that will allow us to select the correct course, the courses that we are interested in, precisely to select his C ID, his course ID. Now, having the lecturer ID and the course ID, we will be able to go to the third step, which will be the creation of a record for the table lecturer's courses, where we'll have to input the lecturer ID and the course ID that were selected from the previous two steps. Very, very good. If we go back to Apex and we choose the app that we are working in, this is CMS app 2, we will see that the pages are now page 16, 18, the last page is page 18. So the next page probably will be page 17, will be the first step, page 17. And then the second step will probably be page 19. And the third step will be page 20. So the code that we will do will likely be on page 20. That is why we are writing here P20. And on page 20, we will then have a form that will capture the, not the person ID, not the phone ID, I did a mistake. That should be the LID. Let me just fix the mistake quickly. It should capture the LID and it should also capture the CID. CID and the PA. Those are the three attributes. Remember, we do not touch the primary key when we are inserting a new record in a table. We need to take the other attributes, LID, CID, and a year. So I can look at it again. First one, LID. Second one, CID. Third one, a year and they are all from the page 
20, 20, 20, and those are the same attributes that are here. Let me just tie it up to make sure that we don't have a blue. Ignore once, let ignore it again, and here, ignore once, let ignore it again, and it will disappear. Now, let's go back to Apex and implement what we just spoke about, the first step, the second step, and the third step. We are in Apex. We need to choose the creation of a page. Which page would allow us to have three steps or more steps? It is a wizard. So I'm going to click on wizard. In the wizard, we want a wizard name. I think we are going to assign process. That is the name of our wizard. Very good. He has already chosen, by the way, is 2021-22. Let us edit. So here, what will be the step one? We can call it uh, step one, colon, assign. And this one is to choose. This one is to choose. Uh, lecturer, yes, the lecturer that we want to, and then I can actually call it as choose lecturer. And the second one, we can call it choose course. And then the third one, we now call it assign. to lecture. Very, very good. So we know is from page 20, 21, 22. We did the wrong assumption. We have to go and change instead of 20. We say 22 for the third page. When we navigate the parent, let us put it inside the admin, the admin, he has a lecturer here. Let then say that the admin want to assign the lecturer courses to a lecturer. So we are choosing this one. And uh, we can now carry on. Is there anything that we want to change? No, let us create the wizard. The wizard is being created. Let's wait for the wizard to be created. The wizard is being created. In the meantime, I have to remind you, it's page 22 for which we are going to change the code. The wizard is being created. It has been created. So let's have a break and we'll have a second part of video on how to finish this implementation. We thank you.